Yes, so today we are with Captain B talking about mind processes, talking about you know the requirements or the elements of mining. He's a coal miner himself, and we are super excited to have him on the chat today. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning, good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's good. Awesome, Captain B. So, Captain B, today, uh, I mean, you are you've been in you know various industries. You're an entrepreneur yourself. You're in baking. You know, uh, you've done uh, KFC, Sandwich Baron. Um, you know, you are you, you have a coal mine, a chateau business. Today, we are talking about mining. I mean, where, where do we start, sir? Um, all right. Now you make a decision. Go into mining. The yes. first thing that you need to know or have is uh, a mining farm or the land that you are going to mine. Uh, it is different from uh, when you are buying a um, existing mine uh, from a person that wants to leave uh, the, the, the mine. There you must be very, very careful. Nobody mm. sells a hen that lays the golden egg. Why are mm. they selling the mine? You must be very careful. Why are they selling the mine? There must be a reason why they want to run away. And so be very careful when you hear a person saying, I'm selling a mine. Uh, you need to investigate. Do a serious, serious uh, investigation on why are they mm. selling. Okay, but I want to talk to people that want to start a mine from scratch, from the beginning, right? You need to identify a farm that has the resources that you want to mine. We've got various resources. You can do coal, you can do platinum, you can do iron ore, you can do manganese, you can do copper. You've got... There are many streams in mining. So I'm going to talk about coal mining. <clears throat> That's what I know. Before you start any mining, you need to read what we call the mining charter. The mining charter will tell you everything about mining. It will tell you what to look out for, what are the regulations, what is expected of you, what is expected, what, you know, everything about mining the mining charter, it's your Bible. That's something you need to know back to front. You need to refer to it every quarter because there are amendments to it. So you might be working on, 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 on an older version and you find yourself in a bit of a problem while you apply the old uh, principles on, you know. And so you need to have the mining charter um, does a mining charter differ from province to province? No, it does not. A mining charter encompasses every 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 province. Um, it shouldn't it it shouldn't change from province to province. Um, all right. Um, then, after you've identified the land that you want to mine, you need to acquire that land, or you need to negotiate to acquire that land. Uh, depending on the agreement that you have with the landowner, there are a few things that you need to do. If it is an isolated land, then there are a few things that you need to worry about. One of the things would be the rehabilitation plan. Um, when you're doing an open cast, you are required by law to bring, after you've mined, to bring back that land to a habitable state. Um, you cannot leave that mine when you've dried it up. You cannot leave that mine as holes. You cannot leave it as a dump, but you need to rehabilitate that. And normally, what DMR would want, they would want a minimum of 30 million as a guarantee 
uh, for the rehabilitation plan. Mm. Uh, should you run away, then they've got that 30 million to rehabilitate the land. And so uh, going into mining is not very cheap, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say. It is very, very expensive. But the, the, the rewards are very good as well. Now, when you have agreed on the land, you need to apply for what we call mining permit. Mm. Um, the mining, when you have the mining permit, then you'll have um, the right to explore on that land. By exploring is, you would then bring your drill machines and see where the mine is, uh, where, where your, where your um, uh, 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 material is. If it's coal, you will be drilling across the, the, the farm to see where your, where, where your, where your, where your core is. And um, then after you, 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 you drilled, then you do what we call sampling. You take where you have identified coal then you sample to, to see what is the quality of the coal. How much ash is on that coal? Um, what is the moisture in that coal? What, what is the CV? Uh, 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 by the CV, that's, that's the classification of the, of the coal. Uh, you've got your 23 being your RBT. You've got the 27 being the high quality. Now you need to know. Uh, 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 you you need to know what is it that you want to mine, uh, 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 which 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 coal or which part of the farm has which quality. You've, we've got people that would want uh, uh, twenty three CV. Uh, twenty three CV uh, is the cheapest. And you need to know if you've got an order for 23 CV, which area of, of, of the mine we are going to mine. And if people want 27, which area of the mine. 27, most of the time, is further down. And so not necessarily that you need to have a shaft going down, but as you excavate the land, you'd, you'd be probably going about 60 to about 100 meters from the surface level going down. That's where most probably you'll get your 27. And so, but if you are lucky, you might find your 27 at, 20, at about 20 or 30 meters from the ground. And so it, 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 it depends on from, from, from a, a, a coal belt to coal belt. It would depend on whether your mine is on the higher belt or on the lower belt. Now, and then when you are sure that this is where I want to mine. You can apply for mining rights. Now, personally, I don't have mining rights. I am mm. using mining permits. It's cheaper to have a mining permit and it's quicker. Um, you don't have a lot of red tape in getting a mining permit than to get a mining right. A mining right has a long process, a long process, and it is tedious and expensive. But with a mining right, you can mine, and more especially if it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an open cast. With 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 a an underground, you definitely need a mining right because you're going to need a lot of water, you're going to need a lot of electricity, you're going to need uh, ventilation plants, and so that they will definitely need a mining permit for that. But when you are using an open cast, a mining permit is, is okay. You can work on that. Then you need, before you even start, you need to have a geologist that would give you a proper geological report that would tell you exactly what quantities do you have on this land what, what would probably be the lifespan of the mine and how much tonnage is probable on this mine. 
Mm. You might you might get to a mine where you get a belt, but it's just a pillar, what we call a pillar. Um, you drill that, it gives you a 23, it gives you a 25, it gives you a 27. Then you say, good shot, I am mining here. And you get all the uh, 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 plants and everything to start mining, only to find that you only have a 100 meter radius to mine. And from there, you go the whole mine. There's no uh, 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 coal. You are, you are now stuffed. Uh, because now you've got all your investment in this, and there is nothing there. So, uh, you need to uh, to get a good geologist to to check, you know, all the all the plant, all the, the your, your drilling points. Then the the biggest thing that makes people run away from mining is the rehabilitation plan. Mm. Uh, the rehabilitation plan is an expensive exercise. Um, and that's where a lot of people get stuck because DMR will not even give you the permission to start mining unless you have secured the rehabilitation cost. The last time I checked was 30 million, or rather that's what I have paid uh, as a rehabilitation, uh, 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 rehabilitation cost. That I uh, indicated previously that um, it's uh, what DMR would secure and use should you decide um, with regards to the rehab plan. Is it an upfront? Yes, it's an upfront uh, payment. Uh, it's required. They will never allow you to start mining unless you've got the rehabilitation plan and cost approved. And so, um, and it is not something that you say I will pay bit by bit. They don't want that. DMR requires you to pay it up front. Um, so uh, that's what uh, you know gets a lot of people stuck. Mm. And then when you've secured the, re the rehabilitation plan and everything is sorted, <clears throat> you then before you also start mining, depending on where your mine is, you need to have what we call community consultation. Mm. You need to check if the place that you have identified, it is not under um, <clears throat> land, land reform or land, land claim. Because you will start mining. And, and if it did not uh, uh, check who the claimants are on the mine, they will leave you to start mining. <laughs> And when you have already started started mining, they come with the official documents and say you have mined on our on our land. Therefore, we need twenty percent of your of your 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 your, your um, uh, 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 turnover. Wow! And if it, the documents is official, you are stuffed. You mm. have no way. To, you have no way to run. It's either you do that or you stop mining. And you would have lost a lot of money. Sure, right? And so you 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 need uh, 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 you, you need you need you need to have a serious uh, a consultation. Um, if your 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 mine or the land that you've identified it's next to uh, 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 residential areas, the municipality of that area needs to give you permission to mine around that area, they need to give you their future plans that what were they planning with regards to that area. If it was planned for residential areas, your rehab is going to be more expensive because um, your, 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 your rehab plan is going to be more expensive because you need to level that area and you need to buy a lot of soil to rehabilitate that area so that they can then do town planning on that area. 
And so eh, you need to be very careful where you do it. Uh, mm. and your rehab plan sometimes can take away all your 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 profits, uh, depending on how long you've mined and how much you've made out of that. And so you need to be very careful. Then you have spoken to the community, you've agreed, you have promised them jobs, uh, because if you don't hire the people that are around the area, trust you, me, you are going to find a problem. Mm. You are going to find a problem. Um, they will stop your production. They will stop. They can even ban your plant. So sure. what I did, what I did, I then said, because I'm not very far from, from the communities. I then went to the communities and said, guys, I need people that can do one, two, three. Uh, um, I, I will give you your, 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 your excavator drivers. I need your... TLB drivers, I need your dozer drivers, I need, and fortunately, because uh, the Mpumalanga area where I'm mining it's around uh, 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 mining areas I, I got a lot of these people and so for me it worked well, and so the community was happy that at least I've hired people from their community the only people so I brought, have to, to invest a lot in training uh, yeah, else will invest a lot in training, yes and so mm-hmm. what I, the only uh, uh, stuff that I brought were like your, 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 your mining manager, your, your supervisors, the geologist, the quantity surveyor and all that. Those are the people that I brought, uh, but they did not have a problem with that. Um, if, if minerals are discovered on a farm that I own, do they belong to me? No, they don't belong to you. They belong to the state. Um, that's, that's, that's the sad part about what you own is the surface, but anything that is underneath your surface does not belong to you. It belongs to the state. And so you cannot mine your own land uh, for minerals while DMR does not know. Wow. Yeah. But, but do you have, how about, but okay, so you can just refuse to sell then. Um, if there's someone who wants to come and buy and you don't want to 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 let it go you can refuse to sell they yeah. can't say there's someone who wants to do mining here you are doing farming it's less valuable so you need to leave or whatever but if i come to you and say i'm offering you 500 million for this farm <laughs> will you refuse i guess it's another top that's yeah i mean that's another chat now yeah exactly. <laughs> so you, you, what you do is i'm only doing crop farming <laughs> and giving me 500 million i develop yes. to another farm and have no bring the 500 million let me go let me go to town to 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 yeah <laughs> especially if there's a person or there are people that are staying there um it's not cheap because if you've got a a, a, a residents that are staying there you need to relocate them uh you mm. need so it's 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 not an easy task and so you better look at a vacant virgin land then you'll be fine it will go less 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 expensive all right so dmr now uh, will issue uh, 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 when you start it will issue you uh, your pros- your prospecting rights or your prospecting permit you cannot just go and prospect without dmr knowing um, and then they will verify your geo report. Um, okay, what's that now? The guy's knowledge. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me continue. <laughs> they will verify your geo report. Oh, yeah. and from, no, they, cool. thank, you, thank you, thank you. Then um, they will give you a drilling permit. Then, when you have the drilling permit, then that's when you can start doing the all the shenanigans on on the land that you want. Then you need when you are, are now sure that this is where I want to mine, and this is what I want, and I, I will definitely make my money here. Then you need to start uh, 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 the, the 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 process. 
the process now is you need to identify the yellow plant that you need. Mm. What do I mean by yellow plant? Yellow plant, I mean this big machinery, you know, your excavators, your, your dozers, your, your every, you know, this big, big machinery that we use in the mines. You have to identify what you need. You need to identify the quantity you need. It's either you lease or you buy, right? Um, and companies like um, your your Balo World, your Volvo, your Tucson, um, they will they will they will lease um, to you uh, 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 the, the, the the yellow plant, provided you've got a bankable what they call bankable feasibility study what they want to see on the bankable feasibility study is <clears throat> your process of mining uh, how far is your mine um, uh, how, uh, 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 no no i mean the depth of your of, of your of your resources uh, do you have off take off takers if you don't have off takers they won't give you the mine. That's where the mm. catch twenty two becomes. Uh, you can the plant, the yellow plant. plant. Yeah, the yellow plant. Um, if you don't have off takers, uh, they won't give you the plant. The off taker will not off take from you unless they see the 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 the, the, the product you have. See, that's sure. that's that's a catch twenty two. But. Um, there are people, there are organizations that just don't have, you just need to Google them. There are organizations that would actually uh, give you funding for Yellow Plant. Um, that would probably work as uh, guarantors for a bank to give you uh, the, the loan to get the Yellow Plant. Um, you've got organizations like DTI that can assist, but yeah. It's it's a mess. It's uh, some of these organizations. I'm, I'm 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 scared to really recommend them because the process is so long and there's a lot of brown envelopes that go around and it's uh, it's, it's, it's a problem. Uh, but uh, talk to DTI. Um, just pray that you get a good uh, a consultant that would take you through the process because uh, DTI. If I if I remember well, they had a program where they would assist you from a farm acquisition to to your first uh, breaking ground. Um, so so yeah, you 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 just need to look at that. 